Today we're going to look at the um, CC um, item editor using the, uh, the sine waves and the various other things that you can set. Um, I'm going to use the velocity in this example but you can use any control. You can see here that this particular VST makes use of the velocity values as to which part of the sound you get from it. It's loud, soft or texture. Very nice. As I say, you can use it for any of the uh, CC values. So you could use it for expression or um, something like the modulation or whatever. I'm going to call this Strings BDT, which is Drama Toolkit. And we can see that we're in C major, 80 beats per minute, 4-4 four, four time. And I'm just going to fill this track with chords. Let's have a listen. Very nice. So in the editor, as you can see, we can adjust these parameters. And this is for the note on velocity. So I hit set, you can see the changes it's made and you can tell by the different shades of blue. As you can hear, particularly on the last bar where it's changed the, uh, the texture of the uh, actual VST. I'm going to add a bass note onto that. And I don't know whether this is meant to happen, but it's it, you need to reset these changes when you make a change to the generator. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Very nice. I'm going to add a track here. And I'm going to call this one um, melody BDT. Oh, where's that gone? Not sure. Let's just uh, resize the track, see if we can find the title again. Nope, don't know what I've done with the track name. Anyway, we're going to add a melody generator to this. And again, I'm going to use the British Drama Toolkit uh, from Spitfire. This time I'm going to use the ensembles. Uh, this will be a woodwind uh, ensemble, which is largely um, bass and uh, regular clarinet. Let's have a listen. Mm -hmm. Now, oh, that's a bit too, uh, too low. Just bring it up. Yeah, let's give this a try. It might be a bit shrill actually. Far too shrill. Let's bring it down an octave. That'll do. Now we can see that on clips like the melody generator, there is already a spread of, um, of velocities. Um, put in for you, but if we just go in and make that fewer notes, ah, that's a lot better. It just gives us something to work with on, on this particular clip. Well, that's something we can certainly work with, um, but I'm going to edit the velocities on this. And as you can see, I can go through and alter these values. Um, gives me full control, which is which is really good. I wasn't convinced I would find a use for this feature, but absolutely there is. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm just going to adjust these manually, to be honest, because it's probably just as quick to do that on the melody. Uh, whereas I've left the chords 
um, using the the, um, the sine wave. Let's just have a listen. I'm also going to change some of these chords up. Um, we'll have a D minor there. And let's treat ourselves to an A minor there. Um, because the chord changes, it gives it more texture underneath the notes. So you could see there as that note was playing between the, um, I think between the D minor and the F. Because the chord changed behind it, it, it sounded quite nice. This last note, I'm just going to make one to the end of the bar here. Now let's have a listen. Chord change. Very nice. And because this is Rapid Composer, let's have a variation. See what it sounds like in an Aeolian scale. There's part two at the click of a button. <laughs> 